Well, we're here today to go and look at a site near Loch Ness, which is where First Group hold their duathlon event. And last year they suffered very badly from midges at one of the station points. So we're going up to have a look at that site today to see if we can plan and carry out a really important experiment on some new repellents that we're developing at Aberdeen and Rothamsted. I've never heard of anybody dying from midge bites, but it is true that some people react quite badly to their bites. Um, also, they are painful bites, much more painful than, than mosquitoes at the time that it happens, and people just don't like them at all. The FIRST MONSTER trial is very exciting for us because it gives us the opportunity to work with around a thousand competitors all at one time. £286 million is lost each year to the Scottish economy because of the midgey. Well, the FIRST MONSTER challenge is bringing people, all sorts of people, a great cross-section of society from all walks of life into an area like the Highlands of Scotland um, over a period when the midgey population is fairly high. Uh, there are places, going down England for example, local areas where you find the same species of midge. And indeed this species goes all the way down to the south of France. But you have to have the right larval habitat, that is the key to it all. So you have to have swampy uh, ground that will support the larvae through the winter time. Well, from our research, we've isolated particular chemicals that are found in non-attractive people more than others. So the first one we're going to do is using them as a scent in a puffer device inside a tent. Well, we have a very special device that we've used in some of our wind tunnel arenas in the laboratory, which is a killing grid um, which will kill the midges as they fly into it. So we're going to place these grids in the window of the tent and as the midges come in towards the people inside the tent, we can count them by the flashes and the cracks that they give on this grid. We're also going to test uh, creams and lotions, so a traditional sort of repellent type of product. We've already shown that the, the compounds are very effective against mosquitoes. In the laboratory, we've shown that, and we've also done experiments in Africa and South America showing that different species of mosquito are also very affected by these compounds. Mm -hmm. 